With the NSA and the CIA and the FBI all in the news lately for spying, it's a good time to know where all our real-life James Bond-style Russian-choking, martini-shaking, fake mustache-wearing spies come from. It's not from the NSA. They do spying, but it's the listening to your phone calls type of spying. They're basically huge ears feeding off your personal conversations. It's not from the FBI. They're a federal enforcement agency. If a foreign spy is here breaking the law, they'll get involved, but they care about the breaking the law part, not the spy part. The military does some spy supporting, but not spying. Elite special operations forces like Delta Force and SEAL Team 6 swoop in with tanks, guns, and helicopters but they're not exactly secret or clandestine. Spies are clandestine. In fact, they come from the National Clandestine Service, a mysterious subsection of the CIA shielded from us by an impenetrable shroud of secrecy. Dum dum dum. But if you remove the shroud, here's what we know. Deep inside the CIA is the NCS, and inside the NCS is the Special Activities Division. Inside the SAD are the Special Operations Group and the Political Action Group, and inside the SOG and the PAG are our spies, operatives known as Core Collectors. They are our Russian-choking, martini-shaking, fake mustache-wearing, honest-to-God spies. Most are handpicked from the military Special Operations Forces. They've gone through the NCS clandestine training program. They're the elite of the elite, and they're accepting applications? So you can apply. Good luck with that. If you found this episode informative and you want daily videos from us, please subscribe. This show is new. We need all the support we can get. If you'd like to see more test tube content, hit the other box now and we will call up a video for you. Thanks for watching and please let us know in the comments what you think about this video or anything else that's on your mind.